September 19th. Earth crammed with heaven. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah 6 3. The prosperity of King Uzziah's reign seems to have weakened the national character, a deep seated degeneracy was eating out its vitals. The unbroken summer of fifty years of prosperity and wealth had induced a moral decay which filled the heart of the prophet with dismay. It was in this depressed frame of mind that Isaiah entered the temple, where the ceremonial of the priests and levites, the offering of the sacrifice, the antiphonal chanting of the choirs, appear to have further moved his spirit. The vision. The limitation of the earthly fabric faded from his sight, and he became aware of the worship of the seraphim, their faces veiled before the divine majesty, their persons clothed with humility, and their remaining wings prepared for immediate obedience. They sang antiphonally, inciting each other to lowly irreverence and more ecstatic praise. What a lesson is present to ourselves. What a contrast is here to our lethargic worship and often tardy obedience. This great God is our Father through our Lord Jesus Christ but do we blend sufficient reverence with our childlike trust? Are we not too often glib in our prayers? Do we realize the need of pure hearts and clean hands as we kneel before Him? The call. The humble confession of sin must be ours also. The seraphim knew that there was only one answer. The altar coals had absorbed the blood of the sacrifice and were now glowing with white heat. They would serve for cleansing and inspiration, and when this was completed, there was nothing left to delay the call to service. The Commission The prophet was not to be disappointed. He was to persist in his message, even though there were only gleams of light through the darkness. Prayer Great and holy God, Cleanse us in heart and speech and action, with the blood shed on Calvary and the fire of thy spirit, that we may be fitted for thy holy service. Cleanse, call, and commission us. Amen.